Hello, Mrs. Fogelsong here. This is your introduction to the Comic Life software. And I'm also going to show you what my expectations are for email. OK, students, so you go to Comic Life, you double click. That means on your mouse, you hit the left button twice real quick. And it takes a minute for it to load, especially if it's your first time. What I want you to do for this first assignment is um, browse through these. That word browse means that you just kind of look through the different options. You'll see that some are obviously not for creating a manga style graphic novel. Like this one here is clearly for making awards and there are some that are clearly for yearbooks. You can see Anytown Middle School 2016 is for yearbooks. Then we have school newspaper ones. That's not what we're looking for. But the vast majority of these are great for creating a graphic novel. So you might open one up and see what it looks like. And then you think, oh, I like this, but I don't know if I want that soccer ball. Play around with it a little bit and see if you can delete the soccer ball. So if you wanted to do a sports style story, this could be the perfect graphic novel background for a story about, for example, football. It doesn't have to be soccer skills. You can double click on soccer skills and change that title. So once you get in there, play around with a little bit and see what happens. Just having fun. You're not going to break the software. You're not going to hurt anything. If you decide, well, this isn't basketball. It's got grass. I don't want basketball. So you put this one away. Try a different one. You might be surprised. Maybe this one looks Western, but it has other options for that artwork. So it doesn't have to look Western. So let's say it's a basketball theme and you want it to be in blue and gold school colors. Well, there you go. You've got a title that's blue, a background that's gold, and it can be a basketball story. So look through all of them. Don't disregard any of them just because of a background color, because even those kinds of things can be changed. All right, once you've decided on which one you want, you can just when it says, when you go to the X and you want to get out of it and it says save changes, just say no for now because we're really just picking Comic Life software that we want to use. Which of these um, sets do we want to use? So once you've decided, let's say you decide you want um, the first one, the one that said soccer skills. It's called Skills Sheet and you can see that title right here. So once you've decided that, you're going to go into your Gmail. And when you're in Gmail, you're going to compose an email to me. Now I have certain email requirements for your grade. So here we have an imaginary student's email. And if you'll notice, there's a thing called the subject heading. She has typed into the subject heading Comic Life Layout Choice and she has included her name Amelia Earhart in the subject heading. That's worth a point to me. So make sure you do that. Uh, then start with a greeting. It's always polite to start with Hi Mrs. Fogelsong. Skip a line and then write your sentence or sentences. Please use complete sentences in your email with a capital at the beginning and a period at the end. Then skip a line and create a closing statement. Again, you want the closing statement, a comma, and then your name on the next line. So that's how emails are supposed to look. And I would really like for you to, anytime you email me, and you will be emailing me in this class, it's a good idea to use this format. But for this very first assignment, I'm actually grading it. So you need to do it this way. And if you're not sure, you can always raise your hand and ask me to check to see if you're missing anything. Most kids, when they're missing something, it's right here. It's in the subject heading. And sometimes that will say R-E. So you might think of it as the RE box. All right, so let's get to work. I'm going to give you a few minutes to go work on this assignment. 
There are two parts to the assignment. First, browse through the Comic Life theme options and choose one that will work for your graphic novel. Then, using the correct email convention, send me an email telling me which Comic Life theme you've chosen.